here is an 18 inches fluorescent under cabinet light fixture with a very cool in like 80s or 90s desk scene on the front of the package from the infamous Lights of America brand model 7000-1 so that would make it model 6999 118 volts alternating current 60 hertz 15 watts 0 0.28 amps and why do I feel like this is made in China? Suitable for commercial industrial use. Huh. Okay. It has a UV stabilized polycarbonate lens okay it features a built-in slide switch allowing on-off control from either the fixture itself or a wall switch controlling the outlet into which the fixture is plugged hideaway cord allowing a neat tidy installation pull out only as much cord as you need to reach the outlet so they are really desperate to come up with some features if they're saying that a feature is being able to turn it on and off by plugging it into a switched outlet dollars savings over the life of each bulb and these figures are completely obsolete at this point because the rate of electricity has gone through the roof since then saving the environment by putting mercury in the bulbs over its life this fixture will save natural resources over eight barrels of oil or over one and a half tons of coal save environmental pollution 10,140 bulbs of carbon dioxide which causes global warming and 93 pounds of sulfur dioxide which causes acid rain and 38 pounds of nitrogen oxide which cause smog and acid rain information source environmental protection agency I think there are a bunch of nutcases over there to EPA are crazy anyways um, Let's get the savings, some environmental smog and sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide which causes global warming. And let's turn this on and see how it works. I've never opened this up before because I didn't really have a use case for it. But now this is another one of those things that I'm finally going to have a use case for it. So, Whites of America. Oh, look at that, I was wrong. It's made in the USA. That's good. Uh, we need a plug. I guess we'll just use this cord that's on here. They must have. Is this 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 is the cord? So I don't understand. I guess it doesn't come with a cord. I could see why it wouldn't because maybe you want to hardwire it, but. They seem to, to indicate on the instructions that it would, like the cord is a hideaway cord. This isn't hidden, this is obvious. Well, anyways, the fixture, I suspect, has never been opened because uh, it's still got that and it's not cut. Please remove the diffuser lens and check that the lamp is properly seated in lamp holder socket as it may have shaken loose during transportation. Reinstall diffuser and install unit. Remove this label when done. Well, it seems to me like you have to remove the label first before this is done because you can't open it with the infamous label on there. So, let's see if I can off this label. Oh, it looks like it'll come off easily. And uh, I'll just stick it under like this. Now, there's no instructions here, so I don't know how you get this diffuser off. Does it come off? 
from the bottom. I don't know if this would have originally come with instructions or not. It didn't didn't come to me with any instructions, but it was open, so that's not to say that it doesn't come with instructions, but I really wish I had the instructions because I don't know how to use this. I think we're making some progress here. Okay, the UV stabilized shield is off. And it looks to me like the bulb has not been shooken loose during transportation. The bulb bulb is the Lights of America Blurry F15 is a T8 from the Indonesia so it's not from the America but at least it's not from the China so it's a 15 watts T8 and these are actually getting pretty hard to find so if you like using these light fixtures with the T8 bulbs better go out and buy as many of them as you can because they're getting banned because the mercury causes um, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxides, and smog. It's a stinking light fixture. Do you think people buy the light fixture based on the smog output? I mean, give me a break. The stuff they type on this products to make it sell is just ridiculous. Model AFL dash smog. <laughs> Alright, I'm losing it here. I haven't been to work in several days. Model AFL 15 watts, 118 volts LVS. I don't know what that is. Looks like we have um, several different mounting holes I wouldn't really want to use any of these I guess this one for under cabinet but still what's preventing it from sliding you know the slide switch could just slide it right off of the the hook and it looks like maybe we have a, a daylight sensor here perhaps I'm not sure what the value of that would be is this um, this may not be the model that's in the in the box because I don't see the photograph of the sensor and um, I think if I take this tape off it's going to be turned into a sticky freak show but I kind of want to read this text under here I hate when people tape things onto boxes because then you know with this you get this problem still Off without damaging the font too much. Well, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Before installing the fixture, plug it into an electrical outlet. What difference does the order that make? doesn't seem to indicate anything about about the uh, 
about the uh, daylight thing. This is not coming off too good on the side there. Did the best I could as far as that's concerned. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, well let's wire this up and see see if um, it comes on. So this is polarized. The high side is there. So this should go to the black. And then this side should go to the white, which it just did. Now we can plug it in and see what transpires. Absolutely nothing. It's preheat. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, this is a cool fixture. I had no idea it was preheat. Cool. All right, let's off it. I'll on it again. Neat. I had no idea this was a preheat. That is super cool. Okay, so it's pulling 0.24 amps, 22 the watts, which is a fair bit more than 15, and it's got a power factor of 0.77. So it's kind of a cool white color. I think it's probably like 4,000 Kelvin, maybe. Um, which is oops. Which is okay, like, in the kitchen. I don't really mind a cooler light. Can't really think of too many other places I'd use this anyways. This is, uh, talking about it being in the laundry room, in a closet. You know, in a closet is a pretty good idea. Maybe that's what this is for. This could be a light sensor that turns it on. Like some closet lights, when you turn them on, they turn on based off of detecting ambient light. So like when you open the closet door, it'll turn on. But this is so bright, I don't think it would turn off. Unless that's what this is, the time delay. How long it stays on after sensing the light. I don't know. Well, that's pretty cool. I had no idea that was a preheat. Um, definitely going to find somewhere to put this fixture because that's pretty cool. And I'm going to have to go ahead and order more of those bulbs because I know it's just a matter of time that it's going to be very difficult to find them.